After the first confirmed case of the COVID-19 Omicron variant in Illinois, local doctors are encouraging the community to protect themselves. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Mark Well, and I'm Shelby Roberts. Our own Demetrius Sanders joins us live in studio tonight. He shows us why medical leaders say that COVID-19 vaccines and boosters are more important than ever. Demetrius. Well, Shelby Mark, while much about the Omicron variant and its effects are still unclear, doctors I spoke with say what is known is that at this point in time, vaccines offer the best shot at limiting the variants impact. Tuesday, the Illinois Department of Health announced the state's first case of the Omicron variant. We're an international destination and whatever is anywhere else in the world is going to be here too. It's just a matter of time of detecting it. The first case found in Chicago, but local doctors anticipate it's only a matter of time before it's here in central Illinois. The strain has been spreading uh, and now it's more that we're just starting to find it by uh, additional testing and more vigilance. While scientists and doctors work to learn more on the effects of Omicron, which include seriousness to different age groups, seriousness to people by medical condition. Casper says the most important thing is that people get fully vaccinated and receive a booster, whether you've had a previous natural infection or not. Pfizer has discussed that with their internal studies that any reduced effectiveness from prior uh, vaccine for Omicron variant was uh, mostly restored in those who received a booster. And with an increase in COVID-19 cases overall since Thanksgiving, Dr. Nevin encourages the community to not let their guard down. People got together and they weren't vaccinated and they were exposed to the you know, younger patients and this is probably going to happen again in December. So this is real and we have to pay attention. Now, Casper says the dominant strain of COVID-19 is still the Delta variant, but in parts of South Africa, it has become Omicron. He says he expects the same to happen here unless cases decrease and there's less spread. 